Students at the Université du Québec at uh, Montreal are back in class this morning after protesters clashed with police earlier this week. Matt Damour is a journalist at Concordia's independent newspaper, The Link. He's been live streaming the protests for his school's publication. Great to have you on, Matt. So tell us a little bit about what you've, you've been seeing or experiencing the last few days. Well, thank you for having me. So uh, over the last couple of weeks, myself and uh, my uh, colleagues at The Link have been following a lot of the night marches and uh, obviously keeping tabs on the developments of the strike. Uh, so things sort of came to a head uh, this Wednesday uh, when uh, a large group of uh, students at UCAM uh, went around trying to uh, disrupt some classes and block access. And this was primarily in response to uh, a court injunction uh, that was basically trying to stop that from happening, from stopping the, the strike from happening. Uh, police were called in by the school administration and uh, 21 arrests were made and there was a very large riot police response. Uh, as a result, uh, the building the building at UCAM uh, was occupied that evening uh, and we were on the scene uh, covering that. Yeah, because I understand that we have some of the footage from that particular building where you took it. Uh, if we can show that, I'm just curious, show it for our viewers. I'm curious, did you expect this kind of turnout both from police and students? Oh. Well, to be honest, the moment that we started seeing on social media that uh, riot police had been sent into the UCAM building, there was definitely a sense that things were going to escalate. Uh, UCAM is known historically for, for some quite militant uh, student uh, activities when it comes to these kinds of strikes. So we did head over there as quickly as we could. When we got there at about uh, 5.30 p.m., uh, there was a huge student contingent that was still going around uh, trying to disrupt classes, although there were no police on site. Uh, the original plan was for a night march to take place uh, at 9 p.m. in response to the police action uh, that was going to start at a park in Montreal. Uh, but very quickly that transformed into the occupation that we saw. There were calls on social media for people to come and join and support the people uh, who would be uh, conducting the sit-in. Uh, you are a, you're also a first-year student at Concordia University, so I'm curious, how are these protests affecting life around school? Well, uh, at Concordia University, I'd say that it's not as uh, it's not as disruptive as it has been at UCAM. There are some associations and departments that are on strike, either for a couple of days or, or single day strikes. Uh, the journalism department, in particular, is not currently striking. Uh, but at uh, Concordia University, generally, there have been uh, some class disruptions that were in uh, reported in the news uh, a week ago. Uh, but it definitely hasn't been on the level that we've seen at UCAM. All right, uh, Matt, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. Matt Damour, a journalist at Concordia University's independent newspaper, The Link.